This is my 2008 Honda Civic Si Coupe. Just gonna do a walk around today, kinda go over the build. It is Gretti turbocharged. Sitting on some XXR 527s, I believe. They were on the car when I bought it. It is lowered on some cheap eBay coils, which I'm hoping to replace soon. Just haven't really had the time or motivation to replace them. They're still working, so. eBay HFP front lip. See the intercooler down there? That is a eBay same side intercooler. Little headlight intake. Um, just goes into the engine bay, kind of gets some fresh air in there. There's no real need for it other than I think it looks cool. I don't know, I had a spare headlight, so I figured I'd try to make one and it worked out pretty good. This is the Street Aero Forge Carbon Wheel. Got a Turbo Smart boost gauge. And this is on a 3D printed vent gauge pod, I guess you want to call it. Same with the wide band over here. This is an AEM X series, I believe. Um, and then down here is the Pro, I think that's a Pro Sport, but I think that's a Pro Sport oil pressure gauge uh, and a custom little gauge pod I made for it. Got the eBay Type R cluster overlay. This is an NRG quick release. And then also a custom powder coated, whatever you want to call this, little cruise control bracket that I also made myself. Pop the hood. Take a look under the hood. Don't mind the car, it's a little dirty. And this is a bone stock, unopened K20Z3. Got 140,000 miles on it. It's doing great. Also a bone stock trans. So, got a PLM fuel rail with Alpha Injection Clinic, 1000 cc's. Um, custom catch can setup. Valve cover was made and powder coated myself as well. Um, running down to the catch can there. Also custom, this is modified Gretti piping. So uh, don't ask me why I ran the piping like that. It just worked out with the bends I had. Don't mind the boost controller. Um, I actually just wired that in um, and the wires were not long enough. So I gotta extend those wires and make a proper mount. But for now it is zip tied. See back there, hard to see, but that is the turbo. That is a Gretti T517Z, I believe. Uh, just a stock turbo that comes with a Gretti, but it is an upgraded uh, cartridge. And that is a Mamba turbo. So, billet wheel works really good. It's got about 5,000 miles on it, not a single issue yet. All the intercooler piping powder coated in house. And then again, here's the intercooler. It's the same side. eBay intercooler was about 90 bucks, 100 bucks. Can't go wrong and it works great. It's a full three inch exhaust all the way back. Uh, Rev9, pretty much a full race rep, but it is now custom. It's got the Rev9 muffler on it still with a vibrant three inch ultra quiet resonator. Like I said, it's three inch all the way back. Um, so it sounds good, real deep tones. See, Gretty blow off valve came with the kit. I do plan on cleaning up this engine base some. It is very messy, stuff running everywhere. Boost controller is just laying there, but uh, it's working for now. I did recently just do a Exidy Stage 1 clutch as well as a 9-pound flywheel. So I got a Stage 1 with a 9-pound in it. Don't really notice much of a difference with the 9-pound. Shift points are a little different. You got to shift a little bit quicker for it not to feel weird or clunk. But it is running on Honda and is tuned by Bob at RC Auto Works currently on 12 PSI. Not 100% done with the tune yet, still working out the 12 PSI issue with the boost controller. I'll insert some clips right now, probably, of, uh, you know, the car as it is now, as well as some clips of it when it was NA. making roughly 300 wheel never been on a dyno just e-tuned on honda i do have a dc5 battery relocation in it 
that runs the battery all the way down there. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. If you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you.